One of the most popular functions in Microsoft Excel is conditional formatting. In this video, I'll show you how to use conditional formatting and many of its most common uses. Before we get started, don't forget to go download the data that's linked at the top of the description of this video. And once you have the data downloaded and opened, come over to the tab labeled Clients. As you can see, we have a table of clients for a company, and we are going to use this table and apply some conditional formatting to it. For anybody that doesn't know, conditional formatting can be found on the Home tab right here in the middle, and you can just click on conditional formatting. As it says right here, conditional formatting, easily spot trends and patterns in your data using bars, colors, and icons to visually highlight important values. Once we open it up, we can see that there are several different things we can do with this. First, there are highlight cells rules. So based on the different functions that you can read on the right, it will highlight cells a certain color, whatever you tell it to. Coming down one to the top bottom rules, this is a great way to highlight the top or the bottom values in a data set. Coming down one to data bars, this is a great way to visually represent data. Coming down here to color skills, this is kind of similar. We could use this to highlight the best values as green, the middle values as yellow, and then the worst values as red. And then icon sets are also used to point out these trends, but instead of using colors, it would use arrows and colors if you want to, or many of these other icons to represent good versus bad values. And then last, you can basically create your own conditional formatting function. I honestly never use this, so we're not going to dive into this today, but feel free to check this out if you'd like. So there are two ways that I usually use conditional formatting. The first is to highlight duplicates, and the second is to highlight trends. So first, let's start with highlighting duplicates. Often, whenever you're working with any kind of data, you're going to deal with some kind of duplication. This means that the same row is entered into your table twice, and just to be honest, this is just a part of working with data, so it's something you got to get used to. So if you look closely enough at our list of clients, you might be able to see some common rows. You might be able to see some duplicates. And to find these duplicates, I'm just going to select all of our data. I'm going to come up here to conditional formatting. I'm going to choose highlight cells rules by hovering over it, duplicate values, and I'm going to fill them in with dark red text. And now we can see all of these different duplicates we have. We can see we have two James Cannons, or actually three James Cannons, as well as two Angela Thompsons. Now it does me no good to have these duplicates in our data set, so I'm just going to go through and delete these one by one. And to do this, all I'm doing is selecting the entire row, right-clicking, clicking Delete, and then shifting the cells up. Now, if I undo this three times by hitting Control-Z, Control-Z, and Control-Z, another way we can remove our duplicates is selecting all of our data, coming up here to the Data tab, then we're going to come to this little icon right here that says Remove Duplicates, and then we're just going to go ahead and hit OK. And now we can see it got rid of all of our duplicate clients, and now we're good to go. So the other thing I often use conditional formatting for is highlighting trends. To get started, I want to sort the 2024 spend column from greatest to largest, so I'm going to select on the column header, I'm going to come up here to the filter icon, and then I'm going to select largest to smallest. Now I'm going to select my range of data, and probably my favorite conditional formatting use is the color scales, and I'm just going to select this green, yellow, and red. Now at one glance, we're able to see a trend. We're able to see who has spent the most money, who has spent the least money. Maybe these lower clients, we need to try to upsell more or something. That sounds kind of weird, but that's how companies think. And then we know that we need to treat these clients really good because they're who give us a lot of money. But let's hit Control Z to undo this again. We can use any of these other functions. Maybe we want these data bars. And just like before, now we can easily spot the trends again. It basically creates a bar chart. So we can see that this top client spends like over two times as much as this bottom client. So this conditional formatting function is really helpful when you want to compare the rows to each other and visually see that this is over two times greater than this one. Let's take that back. 
Coming up here, we could try an icon set. We could try these arrows. I don't really love these in this context because uh, this kind of implies to me that for this top person, Bradley Hamilton, that this number has improved over, over time or something when in reality, this is just comparing all of these different numbers together. So this isn't one of my favorite uses of conditional formatting. Another common function that I often use are the top bottom rules. Let's say that we want to look at the bottom, let's say 40% of our clients, and we want to reach out to those clients, make sure that they're getting everything that they need. And an easy way to do that was with the top bottom. You can also choose like the top 10 and the bottom 10. So these are really helpful. And then the last thing we'll look at today is we're going to come back to the highlight cells rules, but instead of the duplicate values, I want you to notice all of these different ones that you can look at. There are greater than, so you could highlight values that are greater than a certain value. The same with less than, so highlight everything that's under a certain number. You could do between if we wanted to look at clients that spent between $40,000 and $70,000. Equal to, as you guessed, would highlight values that are equal to one specific number, and then so on. So for the between one, as you would guess, we're going to look at clients that spent between $50,000 and $80,000. And then we'll hit OK. And now you can see it highlighted all of the different clients who spent between fifty dollars and 80000 Honestly, as you could probably see, I rarely change the color that we're working with, but whenever you apply any of these functions, so if we applied greater than and we wanted to highlight greater than 80,000, you don't have to fill it in with red fill and red text. You could come and put whatever color you want. You could choose dark green, dark yellow. So it's whatever works best for you. I hope this video helps. Everything that I just showed you is exactly how I use conditional formatting as a senior data analyst. And if you want to become a great Excel user, be sure to go check out all of the other videos in my Microsoft Excel playlist. And whether you want to be an Excel wizard or a data analyst, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. I post a brand new video every single week helping you become the best data analyst or Excel user that you can be. And with that, I'll see you next week. Oh, 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 oh,